All right, what's going on guys? So it is session number two for the day and number four for my Minneapolis to Chicago road trip series. Uh, so far the sessions have not gone really according to plan. I've only caught one new species. Uh, I've seen several other ones. They just did not want to cooperate. So I think I'm gonna focus more on some larger fish during this session. Uh, we are on either the north or the south fork of the Root River in southeastern Minnesota right now. Uh, we're going to try to target some red horse or some other types of sucker type things. Uh, it's a little bit of a bigger river than I've than what I've been fishing so far. So I got two rods with me. We're going to set up one with a larger piece of red worm to try to get some larger sucker type things. And then I'll probably still micro fish in the shallows for some darters or whatever. Uh, we just really like more than the one new species we have caught so far in the previous three sessions. So let's give that a shot and let's see what happens here. All right, so I pulled out my medium light average trek. Just something a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Unfortunately, the, the biggest hook that I have is a size, what is this, a size 16. I would love like a size eight for this kind of fishing. I just didn't bring any with me. Then we got a couple split shots. So this is a little bit of a bigger body of water than I fished the last several days. Very rocky here, but it looks like there's a little bit of a drop off toward the middle. So let me flick this on over there. And let's hope there's some bigger suckers or whatnot hanging out there. There we go, fish on. It's definitely a bigger one. Is it one of the species I was after? Yes, it is. Now let's get him toward the bank. Probably should have done that earlier so I can try to land him somehow. Oh, that's deep water. This is also why I hate fishing in rivers and creeks because landing fish is so, so, so difficult. This will be a new species for the life list, assuming I can land it. This, I'm sure, is also why trout fishermen and whatnot always use landing nets. All right, but this is the species, or at least one of the species we are after. Let's get him here closer to shore so I can grab him somehow. This guy's strong. Um, let's land him over here on the rocks. This is a good looking fish. All right, should be able to grab him here. Nice fish, some sort of a sucker red horse type thing. He's still kicking. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. Oop. I am unsure on the species, but it's definitely one of those suckers that I was targeting. Took a little bit of uh, perseverance and persistence, but after switching a couple holes, we finally got one hooked. So yeah, again, unsure on the species, but I'm sure it's a new one for the life list, assuming I could ID it. So really, really great start to the day. Let's get this guy back and let's see what other fish we can catch out of the, the river here. There we go. There's another one in the same spot. Oh, this one feels bigger. Wonder if it's the same species or not. Can't tell yet. Is this the trout? I think this is a brown trout. Hold up. This is why I really need a landing net. Let me walk this guy in over here. Oh no, no, no. Relax. This is this is this is a brown trout, I think. This is ridiculous. Let's walk him in on these rocks over here. Let's hope he doesn't break off or something like that. This is ridiculous. Brown trout. Really gotta get me a landing net for these sorts of situations. 
Let's get him back in the same spot here. And I got him. All right, so take a look at this guy. I don't know my trout too well, but I believe this is gonna be a brown, uh, which is also my first ever brown trout. So this is two back-to-back -back new species for the life list. Let's get him back in there. And this is turning into be a great day. That was completely unexpected. All right, that's a good hole over there. At least it has been so far. Let's see if we can pick up another fish out of there. had a bite. I did, but I missed it. Let's fix the worm and let's get it back on out there. That's a nice little hole. I fished a couple different holes. I put a whole piece of red worm on here for the first time, by the way. I mean, I got, what, 30 of them I got to go through in the next couple days. Almost fell there, almost fell there again. There's my balance. All right, so like I was saying, I fished a couple of these holes. This is the first one that produced. I already caught two fish out of this one and just had another bite. Let's see if we can pick up another, I don't want to be greedy, but another couple fish out of here. And I would love another new species. There's several different species of suckers that could be caught out of here. So maybe we'll get lucky and there's another one of those in there. I did also kind of try to microfish here. I think I mentioned that in the intro, but there's really no darters or shiners or any other type of micro to speak of over here. So it's an interesting little river. No little small fish, but at least in that hole there, we got some nice sized ones. There we go. There's another one. This is on the smaller side. What is this thing? Is this a bass? Is this a smallmouth? We got a smallmouth bass. Alrighty, so this is certainly not our target species. Um, rather boring smallmouth bass that, I mean, it's found through most of the US at this point. So, a little boring. Let's get him back and uh, let's get another worm on here and let's get back into that hole because that hole is producing. Oh, there's a bite. Is it on? Yes, it is. Uh, it's going to be another bass, unfortunately. Looks to be another smallie, I believe. And he's off, and I'm not all that upset about that. I could catch bass anywhere. I'm here for the cooler suckers. That's something you probably haven't heard before. Who would rather catch suckers over bass? But that would be me. There we go. There's a fish. What is this thing? Uh, it's gonna be another bass. Don't particularly want these guys. This is a smallie. Yeah, looks to be our second smallie of the day. All right, so the action has actually died down quite a bit. Uh, this is the first fish landed in probably about 45 minutes and only the third bite. Um, so definitely not as good as it was, let's say, I don't know, an hour and a half ago, an hour and 15 minutes ago, whenever it was that I caught kind of those three fish back to back to back. So 
I think we're gonna make a few more casts. Hopefully get one more cool species. If we do, I'll show it to you. And if we don't, let's wrap it up. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. And I'd say this session was, was a success. I only fished this really small section right by the bridge, but that's kind of really all I needed to. Uh, probably spent about two hours over here. Did not see any micros at all. I did see like fish fry. I don't know what species that was, but there were no like shiners, killies, darters, top minnows, that sort of thing, which was really interesting. But it, basically in that one little hole, slightly downstream from the bridge that I started at, we picked out a pretty good variety of fish. Uh, one, we got that red horse sucker type thing. Not sure on the exact species yet, but we'll fi figure that out. And that's going to be a new species for the life list. And that was just a great start. Uh, then next, literally, I don't know, two casts later within the next five, ten minutes, got another nice hit. And that ended up being a brown trout, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't know my trout all that well. Um, and that's also a new species for the life list, which was great. And then after that, things died down just a little bit. I had a couple hits here and there from that hole and like a little bit further downstream. Uh, we picked up, I think, two more small mouths, which were kind of boring, but that's just me. But yeah, this was a great session. Two new species for the life list. I was trying to get two a day during this little mini road trip. Uh, so far, I got three in two days, so I'm a little bit behind schedule. I don't know what it is with Minnesota, but there are flies literally everywhere. Every spot I have fished at has had all these flies. Um, but yeah, I think this was a really solid session. So that's going to do it for day two here in southeastern Minnesota. Not sure where I'm going to fish tomorrow yet. I don't know if I want to drive to Illinois yet, if I want to spend some more time here or go to Wisconsin. Who knows? But this was a great session. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next time.